Sure. Well, to be very honest, this is our second rehearsal, but these guys are phenomenal and the choreographer is just, yeah, I know. Wow. Come, come here, come yes, here. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. That was yeah. so nice. Yeah. Well, you know what it is? It's because you're working with professionals. So even though they say it was only two rehearsals, they've been dancing their whole lives. So if you think about it, to get people who are able to do it in two, uh, in two rehearsals, they yeah. have to be like full on professionals. So this is wow. Yeah. But only two rehearsals. Yeah. You only dance twice. Yeah. yeah. And that's that, guys. <laughs> yeah. 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 But is this your first Asian dance? Yes. Or something this is like that? It's my first one completely that I've yes. ever done and that we've uh, ever done. So it was really cool to learn because learning all the different styles that there are um, and all the little things like props or things like that, that is so new to us. That yeah. is so fun to try and to play with. And you this don't hat. know, yeah, you just don't this know hat. if things are going to work and you play around and then you realize how much fun it is or how much creativity it brings. It's really, really good to um, okay. have that. So, uh, so um, how, how do you guys think um, dance for the first time of this, uh, the this new style? style? I, look, I think it's it's we watch it on TV as well, so I think it becomes one of those things. Where I would also like to try that movement. Yeah. So I think if anything, it's exciting to try something that you've always seen. Now you're doing it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Leila, how was the umbrella? Yeah. Umbrella. <laughs> that was so umbrella. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like the umbrella, the color, like how it turns, it's so artistic. Yeah. 
we were playing around with umbrella like what, yeah. what else can you do with it? <laughs> and watching so many videos and seeing like yeah. how, how fluidly they make it look we were just like oh my gosh how do you do that so it's, it was you like, know, it's just like design. if it's your first um, Asian choreographer this is really amazing because that looks so authentic yeah. even yeah. 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 I, I want to I want to dance like that in my yes. dance Thank studio you. in Next China one. I mean Next that's one. really <laughs> amazing wow Thank you. Oh, like I, I don't know how do you guys do it how authentic you make it oh, it's wow. like because you never done this before yeah. I, you, I think what you said that it's professionals we would then do our homework yeah so I think it's like researching the movements getting yeah. the right style I think if anything okay. so. I, I studied a, a lot of videos and I was listening to a lot of um, people that uh, choreographers from overseas that were doing it to understand what they were thinking before I created the movement so I was like in my mind, I had a lot of images and visuals already to work with, okay. and then I went, oh, I like that, and then I practiced it in the mirror before. So before I taught them, I prepared it, and I made yeah. sure that it, it looked similar okay. as much as I could to okay. what I've seen. So name three key ingredients in this dance. This one specifically, the first thing that changed it was the props. So the fact that there were the props and how you have to use the props, that already changes the whole feel. So when you're holding the umbrella, you immediately feel something. So. It, I think okay. the props number one yeah. changes you, okay. and then also the, the way the, that they yes. um, present their energy. It, there's a um, chi to it. Yeah, there's Ooh, a there's okay. That okay. strong yeah. energy. Yeah. Okay. So you Keep have going. to think about where your energy is going, and then just the type of movements that you do with the hands and the arms. Um, I feel like in any of the, like in Chinese and Japanese, in any of them, they're very pre precise with where their hands are going. So the arms, you have to make sure. Even if you think about like tai chi or any type of um, yeah, martial, martial arts, arts type yeah. of thing, you're very pre precise with your yeah. hands, and it's the same with the dancing. They know exactly where everything is, exactly where it needs to be, so. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, how about the dancers? Like, how, like, what, what is your impression, first time dancing this Asian style? Uh, firstly, it's hard. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can tell by the sweat, tongue, yeah. um, so, but it's so definitely So which part is difficult for you? Definitely doing the tricks, being, incorporating that into the dance yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Do you think it consumes more energy for you than the regular? Or other I think <laughs> the slower, um, more like slower movements. strong moves. That's where it's what kind of takes a lot of the energy. The flips and stuff like that. You already practice. You know what you need to do. You just have to do it. It's the small things that you have to focus on. That. Wow. Very different. Are you the one with the mask? Which one was Who with was the, the mask? mask? Jason was in uh, Because yeah. I can't. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me, tell me about the mask. So for me, I prefer to practice with the mask on so that I can get used to my breathing. Otherwise, when you get on stage, it's not going to be the same story. Because <laughs> <laughs> we were lightheaded now. now. Mm -hmm. yes. So I got used to the breathing. I tried to monitor how slow I the breathing of the intake and exhaled the breathing. So. Yeah. So do, do you think it's a challenge for you to, to dance with a mask on? Yes, but you can overcome that challenge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at all these hats. This is a... Uh... Yeah, these are our hats that we have to make. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. Did you buy these hats? We actually bought them, but then we had to um, spray them ourselves and, and put in the, oh. the, the the inside part. We had to. We actually just built it so that it's gonna stay. Oh, because okay. It's wow. Just, just that, so. yeah, we Very creative. Think. And that's actually gonna be for our girl. This is actually. <laughs> this is actually a headpiece. So we were playing look around that. to see look how the head. Can make. Okay. <laughs> so this was us playing around to see if this is gonna work. Okay. Hi, hat. Hi. Random things flying around. Like it's Japanese. Nihame. That's Japanese. Oh, is that Japanese? So, shishini, nihame. Yeah, I think those are the few words I know how to say. So, shishini. Yes, do you know what that means? Do you know where I'm at? Is it not hello or goodbye or how are you doing? Nihame is how you doing, is it not? Yeah. Yeah, shishini is hello. Shishini, thank you. Oh, so, so, so when thing. you bow like that, you say. Shishini. Oh, it's very good. Oh, very good. Oh, very thank good. you so impressive, much. Impressive. <laughs> where, where did you learn it? Uh, rush hour. Rush hour. In the plane <laughs> with Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker. Shishini. <laughs>
so I would, I would keep writing, and then when I taught the dance, like play, I was doing the umbrella with Leila, and I could explain to her, like, this is about moving through, imagine your hand has the energy to push the umbrella, and this type of movement, then I knew, okay, you're doing it right. You're not just doing steps, you've got a reason and an intention behind everything. Oh, yes, exactly. I think maybe, maybe that's that, right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and it looks yeah. so authentic, yeah. because it's, it's almost like a doing Tai Chi. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yes. Oh, which is so beautiful. Gosh, but it's difficult to get that control. <laughs> I was like, Whoa. it's very tiring, right? Very it tiring. looks so smooth, so much flow, but it's so much body control. Exactly. Control. And you know what a skill it is to make anything look simple and elegant and effortless? That takes the most skill. And that's, to me, any type of Asian dancing takes such a high level of skill to yeah. make it look so effortless and flowing. And I was yeah. like, it's beautiful. Wow. Like, yeah. Do you have more specific? Objects that are Objects. So okay. Yeah. So if I think like uh, mm. chopsticks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then definitely <laughs> <think of> chopsticks. <laughs> yeah, like any time you do that, like you need the chopsticks. Yes, I can eat the Okay, that's I love it. It's my favorite yeah. Chinese food. Like yeah. so food. <laughs> okay. Food. And and then the architecture and the wall. Okay. I think of the wall of China. Okay. <laughs> First thing that okay. comes from that. Alright. Yeah. Fair enough. And then the umbrellas. The umbrellas. Yeah, that was why I had to use it. Okay, so the first thing I thought of. Have to have umbrellas, so we have this. Umbrella. <laughs> and catwalk. Tell the camera. Forward to the camera. Turn around. Mm -hmm. Oh, you were turning it? Yeah, that's cute. And then. 